It is June 30, 2021. How are you all, especially on the West Coast, with this heat? Oh, wait, no. Especially in other states with the flooding? Oh, boy. Well, my country, tis of thee. It is disintegrating right before me and you and all of us. We live now in a gas lighting grinder. It's just grinding away everything good. The lying, the manipulations, the gas lighting. Saki says Republicans are the defund the police party. <laughs> okay, what do you do with this? Well, one would hope that there are Maybe some on that blue team that still have a brain cell operating in their brains and they'll think, what? I thought we were the defunding party. That's right. Okay. Insane? On a daily basis? Hate to say this. This is a manifestation of... The American people. And unless Americans begin to step away from mainstream media and their quote unquote leaders and start really uh, looking at what is happening in this country, we're done. I think we're done because Americans won't do that. Yeah, Saki actually said, huh, oh, well. What can you do? Saki, a, patho a pathological liar. Republicans don't want to defund the police. It's all lies coming from the Biden administration. Yeah. Love it, don't you? Anita, thank you. Yes, she is. Yes, we have a problem with lying in our country, and it is taking us down fast. Listen to this. Ready? Ah, good old Amy, just another propagandist. Oh, yeah, Democrats, those who love Amy Goodman. Oh, she just, she just exudes integrity. No, propagandist, mainstream media, democracy now. I am for defunding the police. Yes, I support the defund movement. Why use the word defund? Why use the word defund? And it's like, this is the word that's coming from the street. Many affluent suburb, suburbs have essentially already begun pursuing a defunding of the police in that they fund schools. Not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The Minneapolis Police Department is rotten to the root. Defund the police does not mean abolish the police. It means a dramatic reduction in the number of police in our poor communities. Police are terrorizing black and brown communities. The evidence is clear across the country. I am for defunding the police. Yes, I support the defund movement. Why? And it's not only the squad and that guy, but it's pretty much all of the Democratic Party calling for the defunding of police for over a year, and now the Democrats are claiming it's the Republicans. What do you do with that? Just slip yourself right on into that gaslighting grinder. All right, here she is. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, Saki. Pathological liar. Sick, sick, sick woman right here. Part of his announcement is also ensuring there's specific guidance to uh, communities across the country to ensure that they have funding to get more community police around the country, something that was supported by the American Jobs Plan uh, that, was support that was voted into law by Democrats just a couple of months ago. Some might say that the other party was for defunding the police. I'll let others say that, but that's a piece. Go ahead. And funny how others have started to say it. it you know... Oh, <laughs> all right. We all knew it was going to get this insane, right? But what we are living right now, wait, because it's only going to get worse. Seriously. 
let's talk about who defunded the police. An emergency relief plan for cities that were cash-strapped and laying off police and firefighters? It was the Republicans who objected to it. And our plan allowed state and local governments to replenish their police departments. And So look, Republicans are very good at uh, staying on talking points of who says defund the police, but the truth is they defunded the police. Okay. Don't you sometimes feel like crying? Or just laughing hysterically? Throwing yourself on the floor, rolling all about, just laughing hysterically? But all of this is very dangerous. You know, so Tim Scott is interviewed, and, well, oh, right, Tim Scott. Oh, he's a white supremacist. That's right, so we can't listen to him. We can't listen to Fox well, because of oh, everybody believing that Fox News just like see it. No, it's not. They actually do tell some truth. But, you know, all of mainstream media is corrupted. Um, but here, Tim Scott is <laughs> like, what? The Republicans? We are the ones who are defunding the police? Okay. But he's a white supremacist because he came out and said, oof. The United States is not a racist country. Ooh, joined by an awful lot of black Americans, but they're white supremacists. Uncle Tom's and... Yeah. All right, the stupidity of what is taking place in our country is really remarkable. You know, a new study came out United States ranks last in media trust. Is that a surprise to you? It's not to me, but circulate it, please, because Americans need to know they're being lied to. If they don't get that they're not being, if they don't get they are being lied to, then, oh, my God, they'll believe, they'll believe these stupid, all right, I, I happen to have a lot of curses in my head. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to heaven. Okay. But, you know, for those who are, who get, you know, upset about a curse word, I, I try to respect you. I think I do a pretty good job. But, hey, United States ranked dead last in media trust among 49 countries with just 29% saying that they trusted the media. The media is the CIA putting out all of its propaganda. Oh, every now and then they throw you a truth bone so you actually believe them. It's so interesting to me. Americans... Man, do, I mean, I've never seen, a, well, I haven't really been in other countries to see anything, but crumbs, you, like, just, you fall for the crumbs. You get excited about the crumbs, and you just, woof, throw your body on top of them, and crumbs from our government crumbs of truth from mainstream media, just enough to hook you in. We are, we are, <laughs> I, well, the most tragic aspect is that it does not matter. The media has embraced the advocacy journalism, and anyone questioning that trend risks instant cancellation the result is a type of state media where journalists are bound to the government by ideology rather than law. And yes, that is what we are living. We've been living this for years. Plunging level of trust. Why? Well, we have an enormous problem with lying, lying, and lying. Americans, on the whole, we ain't right, okay, as they say in the South. We as a people, we ain't right. News organizations now are woke 
journalists. That's it. You get the work journalism. Writers, editors, commentators, and academics have embraced rising calls for censorship and speech controls. Wow. Uh, writers, editors, commentators, academics calling for that? Yeah. And even Biden and his key advisors are calling for it. Even journalists are leading attacks on free speech and the free press. Wow. This includes academics rejecting the very concept of objectivity in journalism in favor of open advocacy. Man, Columbia Journalism Dean and New Yorker writer Stephen Cole has denounced the First Amendment right to free speech. <laughs> wow. He said the right to free freedom of speech has been weaponized to protect disinformation. Wow. Uh, likewise, the University of North Carolina recently offered an academic chair in journalism to New York Times' Nicole Hannah-Jones. Well, if you don't know that name, she's the 1619 Project lady who, well, the whole project is fundamentally flawed when they state that our Revolutionary War was fought to maintain slavery. But hey, believe all of the horseshit. We live in a free country. And you have the right to stand up, speak out, and state, I love the crumbs of truth and all of the lies that I hear 24-7. You have every right. However, don't you wonder about your own integrity when you're doing that? Doesn't that dawn on you? Like, hmm, do I have a conscience? Do I recognize that lies really are very damaging, <laughs> incredibly destructive? I mean, lies kill. N make no mistake about it. Lies kill. And they're killing our freedom of speech, our freedom on a whole on the whole. So, yeah, Anna Jones, she was awarded a Pulitzer Prize, which is really fascinating when the 1619 Project, the premises, premise of it is fundamentally flawed. But hey, <laughs> this is our new world shaping up for those who are really just new world order globalist communists. And that's what you are, Democrats. You're not, don't even call them Democrats anymore. Just call them communists. You know, call them um, whatever you like, but don't call them Democrats. It's, it's a joke of a party and a joke of that team. Yeah. Yeah, you're more joke than the other team, blue team. So she's been criticized for her role in purging dissenting views from the New York Times pages and embracing absurd anti-police conspiracy theories. Even waiting for the facts is viewed as unethical today by journalism professors who demand that reporters make political or social declarations through their coverage. Yay! So all of this, all of these... Um, burgundy colored, uh, the, the um, color of the font. These are links, hyperlinks, to all of the evidence. Like, all of these links. You can check it out. Oh, there's a lot of calls for getting rid of freedom of speech. Okay, where is that going to lead? Not to a very good place, don't you think? I mean, it's dying, and, well, we've got an awful lot of Americans who just don't care, but no doubt they'll be having a barbecue July 4th. Yeah, Google is going to step in and save the day. Google. 
a new notice in search for rapidly evolving results. Rapidly evolving results. Hmm. Google search will always be there with the most useful results. So don't you worry, just use Google. Sometimes the reliable information you're searching for just isn't online yet. To help with this, we've trained our systems to detect when a topic is rapidly evolving and a range of sources hasn't yet weighed in. What are those sources? Authoritative sources, mainstream media. We'll now show a notice indicating that it may be best to check back later when more information <laughs> when more information from a wider range of sources might be available. Google, Google is your daddy. It's your daddy. Hey, check back later. This is how, you know, look, None of these, none of, none of what we're living could have gotten here without the American people's consent. So, we're here. I don't like it. I do feel like I'm being put through a grinder every friggin' day with our recently launched About This Result panel. You can also quickly find information about sources you find on Google search and better determine if they're likely to provide helpful or trustworthy information. With this additional context, you can make a more informed decision about the sites you may want to visit and what results will be most useful for you. Let Google be your guide to the truth really. Across these features, our goal is to provide more context about your results so you can more confidently evaluate the information you find online. These new notices are rolling out in English in the United States to start because they know Americans are way too stupid to figure anything out. They're not adults. They need a guide. So they have the Google Guide, and they have Mommy and Daddy mainstream media propagandists, and then they have the, oh, their leaders on each team telling them how they should live, what is the truth, because they don't want to ever explore anything on their own. Wow. So Google, yeah. Aren't you happy about this? Google. I want a Google context for my search. Now, I've posted many videos. Google, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of these. Government agencies to bring in the propaganda for the government because, mm, well, now it's so clear. Mainstream media reporters are propagandists. You know, we're living in the Soviet Union, baby boomers. Remember, you know, duck and cover duck and cover. Get onto that desk. Oh my God, we're going to be hit by a nuclear bomb. Baby boomers, are you not recognizing any of this? Hello? Mainstream media here in America, oh, well, all over the world, but here in the United States, all you get is propaganda to advance the left's agendas, to move us further and further into a communist nation where none of us will have any freedom. And you sit back and say nothing. You are just so oh, rah, rah, your team. You're such a cheerleader that you won't give it up and even have adult conversation with somebody. And I'm talking from experience. Well, guess what? You are the reason why we are <laughs> dying. I spent four years on the red team, so don't, don't, don't leave that comment. Oh, so you're for Trump. Ugh. 
You know, check out somebody's channel before you leave stupid comments that reveal how bloody presumptuous you are. Oh, you hear one thing from somebody and that that uh, gives your brain permission to just put them in a box and mm, there this is this is this person's category. Sick of it. So, we have a problem. Now, Project Veritas, I really do uh, think you might want to check it out if you don't know them. Subscribe because they do a lot of good work. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Project Veritas, actually. And I was just wondering if you're totally touching You're actually are being recorded right now. Yes. Thanks. Uh, why hasn't CNN been suspended from Twitter? For, uh, promoting I'm, not, I'm not on a conference. I'm not on an important conference. Should we talk when you're done with your no. conference call? No. Call CNN. Well, is Charlie Chester still employed? Because it's just funny how if you're promoting misinformation, you're not banned from Twitter. And you're also sharing people's private information without consent, and you're still not banned from Twitter. Right? Uh, Charlie Chester says that uh, CNN is pushing an anti-Trump agenda. Our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? And that's why he chose to work at CNN? Is that right? Woof, is, is silence acceptance? Why can't we engage? I'm a journalist, you're a journalist. Is CNN propaganda, sir? Can we just take five minutes and talk instead of run? If you truly do care about being the most trusted name in news, Excuse me, I'm on a sense? conference call. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, the American people are getting uh, propagandized about COVID death ratings by CNN. That's what Charlie Chester said. COVID? Gangbusters are rated, rated, right? Which is why we constantly have the death toll on the side. It's fear. Like, fear really drives us. Don't you think you should be held accountable for promoting fear and lies? If you're in fact doing that as CNN technical director Charlie Chester said, did you see the Project Veritas video? Why? I have to say, I am really impressed with this woman. She does not let up. And he's on a conference call. I guess he doesn't have anything to say on that conference call. But in the very beginning, you see him come up. Oh, yes. How nice to meet you. And uh, No, I'm on a conference call. You're from Project Veritas? Whoop. Not listening to you. Project Veritas, if you don't know, does a lot of undercover work to expose all of the lies. You should see their their uh, uh, videos that m now, maybe years ago, on school boards and those who head the schools, how much they were lying and, you know, they lie for the teachers so that teachers don't get in trouble when the teachers actually abuse the children. I'm so, look, you know, I don't know what to do anymore. I honestly don't know what to do anymore. This country is so corrupt and immoral. I am so sick of it. So, yeah, I'm on a conference call. Well, that might just be what they've been instructed to say. Here's Sanjay Gupta. Sanjay, Sanjay. Can you tell me if Charlie Chester still works for CNN? I don't know who that is. Charlie Chester, the, I'm with Robert with Project Veritas. I'm following up on our story. Charlie Chester, we did an expose on him. Look what we did. We got Trump that I am 100% going to say it. And I 100% believe it. And if it wasn't for CNN, I don't know that Trump would have gotten voted out. We're, we're, we're actually in the middle of a conference. Yeah, yeah. Does Charlie still work there? I, I don't. You know what? I still don't know who that is. Of course he doesn't answer any of the questions. And he's on a conference call, too. It's amazing how these guys are on conference calls. How is he on a conference call? Does he have one of those things? No, doesn't appear. Maybe he's got only one in one ear. But you know what? I'm on a conference call. Wolf Blitzer, I'm on a conference call. All right. This is Project Veritas' site. 
and oh yeah, I know, I get the comments. Oh, they're just a shill and they're working for who whatever. 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 I'm sick of it. All I care was about those who speak the truth. A Fox 26 reporter. This is also Project Veritas. Fox came at my throat for standing up against censorship. In my opinion, you failed as a reporter. From the inside, yes, there's a narrative. Yes, it is unspoken, but if you accidentally step outside the narrative, if you don't sense what that narrative is mm -hmm. and go with it, there will be grave consequences for you. It's not just about the viewers. It's about what our CEO reads. It's about what our GM reads. My question is very simple. Why are you doing this? It affects the viewers. That's why I'm doing this. The viewers are being deceived by a carefully crafted narrative in some stories. I have passed on Bitcoin stories. African-American audience of five, it's probably not going to play. That's a choice I'm making, an editorial choice. That seems sort of a racially charged statement to make. I want out of this narrative news telling. I want out of, of this corruption. Are you afraid of doing this? I haven't had a lot of fear about it. I'm, I'm so horrified at what the news business has, has stooped to. What you just heard was our newest insider, Fox 26 reporter Ivory Hecker, blowing the whistle on her own network's bias. Hecker felt compelled to come forward and shine a light on what she says is Fox 26 being, quote, deceptive to viewers. All right, I will link below to this um, video. And yeah, we've got mainstream media reporters who have sounded the alarm, and yet we still have a whole lot of Americans watching mainstream media. Ha, okay. Well, what happens when they sound the alarm? They get fired. They get fired. Is that fair? They want to tell you the truth about what's going on, mainstream media. They get fired. Americans... We're not standing up for the truth here. These people who stand up, they're few and far between. A whole lot of women seem to have a courage that I'm not seeing in men. Maybe I've missed it. Okay. But um, here's another one. It's not, it's not about, they have no idea what it's like. To, to be burdened with this and feeling like I'm watching my country disintegrate. And if I don't stand up and do something when I'm able to, you know, I just don't know that I could live with myself. You're not just a meteorologist. You're interviewing some pretty heavy hitters here. Uh, Gail King, what's your reaction to what she said there? When I hear fake news, I never think they're applying, that it applies to us. And that is... A symptom of narcissism, pathological narcissism. Oh, I don't lie. I don't gaslight. I don't manipulate. It's you who does it. It's the red team. It, it's Fox News. It's everybody but me. I don't think about us at CBS. Uh-uh. Oh, who left CBS? Because of uh, having to follow that narrative and she wouldn't do it. Cheryl Atkinson. Emails are a continuing revelation and a series of revelations that have come out slowly in the past year and a half that indicate um, what appears to be a concerted effort to con construct a narrative. Okay, so you can watch this. I will link below. Yep, she tells the truth about CBS and how she couldn't. She was told not to. Uh, report on uh, investigations that she had. One was Benghazi, and yeah, she left because she couldn't do it. So there are some mainstream media who have a conscience, and they just can't go along with the Soviet Union-style propaganda that is now our mainstream media. Americans, you are awake to the lying. So what the hell are you doing? 
tired of saying, hey, wake up, because you are awoke to the lying that goes on in our country. You know full well that our mainstream media lied us right into destroying Iraq, lied us into destroying Libya and Afghanistan and Syria, and oh, the list is long. You know it. So what are you doing? What are you doing? If you do not stand for truth, your life is just a sham. You're, 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 there's nothing meaningful about you. I'm sick of it. So sick of it. She talks about Fast and Furious. And, you know, and I just recently heard yet again how Obama, the Obama administration had no scandals. It was rife with scandals. You just didn't hear it on your leftist mainstream media. It didn't come from those propagandists. And it's, well, well, we have now Obama, too, with Biden. They're so friggin' corrupt. And you, I, 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 I thought, as a Democrat years ago, spent most of my lifetime as a Democrat, most of my adult life as a Democrat. And you know, when I started getting the truth about that team that I was on, I was kind of horrified. But, you know, I listened to myself that self-reflection, I heard myself years ago arguing against this claim that mainstream media was pretty much just a leftist Democrat, you know, pumping out all these lies for the Democrats for the left. <laughs> when you wake up to your own bullshit, it's hard to take. You see how you've been part of it. Okay. There were so many scandals with Obama. Obama, corrupt to the core. Biden, corrupt to the core. Trump, just a player in the whole machine, in the cog. He's a cog in the wheel. And I have a lot of videos on my Trump playlist you might want to check out. I just think that it's a shame because over the last couple of months, I've seen personally that there have been stories that CBS has run that were proven to be fake. One of those stories that Project Veritas actually witnessed here. Cherry Health now admitting that staffers were in the line of cars presented to the CBS network. Well, we knew right they were coming. We had no clue that we were going to have to, like, do fake patients. We are supposed to be the people that bring light to corruption. So basically, they're going to use the power of all of Viacom CBS brand, brands. I, is this I, journalism? I, I don't think that this is journalism at all. I think, that, I think that this is propaganda being pushed on people. Why would you do that? You know, basically, that's the most selfish thing I've ever seen. I was hoping there would be there would be a change. No, because not gonna, the only change is going to be, you know, on, on our weekend weather person. That's the only change. Your reaction to what he said. It's hard to hear that. You're a wife and a, a mother of four. How do they feel about this? We are so supportive. I'm so blessed to have them. Okay. First of all, telling the truth today, oh, it's a revolutionary act, for sure. Um, but you begin to see how many people do not want to hear it. Yeah, you, you face that in your personal lives. You face that in our collective lives. Um, you need support. My God, do you need support? Or you just get worn out and destroyed faster. But... Um, more and more people have to do this. More and more and more. Mainstream media reporters get a conscience 
and do it. You know, I can't stand how f rapidly we are disintegrating. And we are dis disintegrating based on lies. And if Americans choose to never change, to never look at themselves, to never, you know, spot, oh man, I've done something wrong and I've got to, you know, change so that I don't do that again, you're just part of all of the destruction. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Ciao, guys.